And now let's uh, give you a simple uh, introduction regarding the bus bar in uh, installation. So here, this is an end tensioner. You will have two end tensioners at each end of the bus bar. And this uh, inside is to put the bus bar, right? This is the bus bar. Okay, this is to conduct power mm. made of copper. Oh, and here you're going to put boys to uh, position and screw it tightly. Uh -huh. You need to open the plastic cover in orange color. 这是电源接线柱. This is where to connect the main power. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, this is a spring to tighten the bus bar, seamless bus bar. Mm. Uh, this is a spring to tighten the bus First of all, you will need to cut the bus bar. It comes actually in a row according to the length you need. 然后把这个把这个面儿要切的是平平的 And then the, remember the, the cut to the surface has to be in the same line mm -hmm. 然后把滑线的一端端头塞进去 And then insert from one end and You probably need to uh, loosen the screws from the top Otherwise you cannot insert the bus bar A lot of screws to work out. <clears throat> okay, then we insert uh, from any side. Yeah, insert it until the very end. Okay, you, you just screw every one of those uh, boards. Probably need to screw it twice or three times to ensure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just basically start from this one in this direction and then do it one more time. Okay, mm. two to three times. Okay, let's go to the structure. Okay, to position the end tensioner, we will need to have one iron steel like this. Any? Uh huh. You will need to uh, uh, make two holes uh, which has the same distance between the two uh, poles of the end tensioner. Yeah, you can either weld it to the bearing beam or use the boards to connect to the bearing beam. And then you just need to yeah, uh, loosen the boards and then insert it into the holes on the iron steel. Mm -hmm. You first need to take out the spring, don't, don't forget that. The two little plates here, uh, one is at uh, this side here, this side of the iron steel, and the other one is uh, here. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's the positions of the two uh, steel plates. And the other side will be the same. Uh, uh, after all, you need to tighten the screw. 
And you need to ensure the bar spar is uh, straight in the line, not with any curve. Something like this, you can see. I will give you another angle. Mm -hmm. As long as it's straight without any um, obvious curve, it means it's, uh, it's well installed. Okay? I'm going to introduce you to the power supply, how it connects from bus bar and then to the Korean trolley. Okay? The electrical box on the wall, it is uh, already in the warehouse or workshop of the client's site. And here, this cable uh, from the electrical box to the end of the end tensioner is also supplied by clients. Mm -hmm. Normally we'll use three phase and four poles uh, power. Three power lines and one earth line. Or zero. Mm. Okay. So when you connect the power, you can go and observe the uh, current collector. For every crane, there will be one current collector, which is just like this. Is through the the main power is uh, passed through the bus bar and from bus bar the power passes to the current collector and then the current collector you can see the cable connects to the electrical box okay and then that's how the power uh, supplies and connects to each mechanism of the crane. And next we're gonna say, uh, tell you something about installation on current collector. Uh, introduction regarding the current collector. The the support bracket. You loosen the voice. So, we need to do a support frame like a T or a seven, yeah, either way. Uh,我们这台起重机因为是展厅的,所以说这个滑线会在承重梁的外边。Ah, uh, because uh, this one we're showing is only for showroom, so the bus bar is um, outside of the bearing beam. But normally, the bus bar will be inside of the bearing beam, so it will be this side, okay? 所以如果在滑线在里边正常使用或我们正常车间使用起重机滑线会在里边这个位置嗯哼在这个位置所以我们只需要一根脚铁从起重机上垂直下来嗯然后把这个是同样的固定到脚铁上用螺栓或者焊
这个面、嗯、两个面之间的距离。嗯。一般我们会在调整到五到八八公分之左右。So the space distance from the top of this surface to the bottom of the bus bar is about five to eight. 五到八是吗？嗯。Five to eight cm. Okay. 刚才忘讲了，这个是要需要需要立着立着、mm -hmm. 这个面。Oh, forgot one very important detail. So this side, this side must be vertical. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. 就是意思是这个棱正朝正上方。You need to ensure this one, this angle, is on top. This angle. Okay, this angle must be on the top position. 嗯、mm -hmm.。然后固定完之后就是一定就是安装。And then just need to install the current collector. Okay. 拧紧这个螺丝。嗯、yes, ，tighten the screws。嗯，使使集电器把这个碳刷拨到带铜槽的滑线槽内。Mm -hmm. And then, tan shua carbon、嗯、brush. Carbon <laughs> clay.、Mm -hmm. <laughs> to make sure this side, each side of this carbon brush, let's just say carbon brush. Insert in, sorry, insert in the hole of the bus bar. In the hole of the bus bar. 哦，正常状态应该会有一些弹性。Normally there will be some、uh, flexibility, like this. Okay. 哦，我们这个调的有点，这个有距离有点大，太大了。嗯、这个没事。嗯、哦，所以正常状态下是这个。这个要平行，这个这个面要平行。Okay, so after installation, this side will be horizontal, and that's the that means the installation is completed. 嗯，这样往下和往上的活动量都是最大的。嗯哼 ，no matter it's like、uh, going down or up. 嗯，黄也不会太松或者太紧。嗯哼 ，it's not correct. Has to be horizontal. 之后。就是电缆连接。And then it's connection of the cable. Mm-hmm. That's it. Hope it's clear for your installation of bus bar.